welcome to another video. Today I am joined with Summer again. Hey. Yay. And if you saw the last video that we did together, then you might recall <coughs> that she mentioned, oh, we should have done the Judge a Book by its cover thing. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to pick out a selection of books for Summer to tell me what they're about without knowing what they're about. You're not allowed to read the blurb. You're literally right. not allowed to look at the cover. You're not okay. allowed to look at the back, just the cover. That's fine. And you can't open it, obviously. That's good. So front cover of the book and you have to tell me in as much detail as you can what you think the book is about and then we'll see how right or how wrong you are and okay. the strange things that you may or may not come up with okay. and the first one I want to give you just because of what you said in the other video is Set Your Bones by Cassandra Clare oh we it's film oh yes you have seen the film that <laughs> totally goes that way isn't it you know exactly what's yeah. about um, can you remember though honestly not greatly he is a guy and he's blonde. <laughs> he is a guy and he is blonde. Um, Good to know. <laughs> oh my god, I've, I've got the film. I really want to watch it now. At home. I'm going okay. to watch it. Um, oh my god. Don't they have like this thing on their skin? Like, Runes. Different, yeah. yeah. Have yeah. they got different ones? Yeah, there's loads of different ones that mean different things. Yeah. I was going to say he's got tattoos, but I know that then they're not. not tattoos. Now, but yeah. I know that. Yeah. Um, this one's hard because now that you've reminded me of the film, Author of Twilight, interesting. I like Not my the thing. film. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know what to say, I'm really sorry. What do you think it's about? Forget the movie. What do you I think can't this think. Looks about? Right, okay. What does the I... cover tell you? If the cover was telling you a story, what would that cover tell well, you? Well, to be honest, he looked like a giant. Okay, no, I get that. A giant the, in the city skyline. Yeah. More. And he's shining. He is glowing. Again, Jesus. Jesus. That's what <laughs> I wanted you to say. Say you're Jesus. <laughs> Or like, you know, oh my god, it's reminded me of something. You know, like when someone's there and like all the lights coming through, like they've got all holes in them and all the lights shining through. What's that remind me of? Something's, it's on something. I have no idea. He's like giant anyway, and he's walking through the city and like, or someone's like, someone could have shot him or stabbed him. All I know, and the sun's like shining through because he's what been stabbed. What it does remind me of is like, although this kind of gives away what the book's about, demon hunters when they like shatter demons and the light comes like, through um, the darkness. Charmed. Yeah. Maybe it's still not charmed. Perhaps. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's too dissimilar. To Charmed, to be honest. I like Charmed. Angels and demons and hunting demons and But it does stuff. scare me a bit. Charmed scares you. <laughs> no, but I'm just like, oh my god, careful, Pi. Oh, right, I see what you mean. No, yeah. Okay. Faster in the Night by Sarah Porter. I'm picking this because it's a very minimalistic cover, so I don't know what you're going to get from that at all. Something in the night. Um, The night. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Um, A swan. Why is there a swan? There might be a swan in the story. And maybe there is, maybe it's like could be like the princess and the swan. For all I know, but a nighttime version it could be a scary version of it, like a scary version of the princess, princess and, and the swan, swan instead of the princess in the, and the night. Frog. So would that make more oh, sense yeah. then to be the prince and the swan? Because is a swan more feminine, or maybe they're lesbians? Princess and the swan, or maybe no, no, maybe like there's may, or maybe like yes, yeah, there's a swan and lady loves the swan and the swan is a lady and they're just gay. Ah. Maybe. But no, but it's got to be darker than that because it's in the night. In the night, a dark, but maybe the swan is killer. That's very dark. <laughs> um, Princess and the Swan featuring Killer Swan. <laughs> so you're thinking I'm a dark version this. of I'm Princess and the Swan. I'm just seeing black and a swan, so I'm just thinking, I don't know, for all I know, this one could just go flying at night. That could be what the whole book's about. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll give you a clue. Vasa is the name of the girl. Well, I figured that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the majority of the book does take place in the night. And there is a flock of swans. But is she a swan? She's not a swan, but there is a threat of her oh being God, turned have you seen into a swan. Black Swan. I haven't. No. Oh, okay. I don't watch TV. Have anyone seen Black Swan? That's what you think this that's is. That's what I'm thinking now. Well, no, okay, I because that's, it, so that's I not know. like that. But I mean, like that could be the Black Swan. No, like yeah, she could be the Black Swan. Like the white okay. swans. All right. No. Okay. What this is actually about is a girl who has been sent out to get light bulbs in the middle of the night because the lights have all gone out and she has a little wooden doll in her pocket and the wooden doll is alive and is her best friend and like runs around with her and she has to go to this horrible shop where if you're caught shoplifting they behead you like there and then but the people that work in the shop are little hands like they're just hands and they plant things on you so it's like impossible to shop at this place without getting caught for shoplifting and being beheaded so she goes in and gets caught 
shoplifting, even though she wasn't shoplifting, and then Erg, the little wooden doll, like helps her out of it and she gets into a bargain with the woman that owns this shop. And the shop is 24 hours, but only really open during the night, and the nights last weeks. So they have like one day, and then it's night for three weeks, and then one day, and it's night for four weeks, and the nights are just getting longer and longer and longer. And she has to save the world, pretty much, while not getting her head chopped off with this horrible woman that owns the shop. That's concerning. It's a really good book. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it. I have done a book babble on this. It's weird. If you like weird, then just like would. weird's the word, can. Three Dark Crowns by Kendall Blake. All yours. What do you think this is about? King and a queen. A king and a queen, okay. Someone else who wants the throne. So a king and a queen, king and, and a someone queen. else that wants the crown. Yeah, well, that snake. one's on fire, so. And that one's... Pretty, it's pretty. What's it made of, though? Flowers and stuff. Yeah, but it's pretty. It is pretty, yeah, it's very pretty. So you got flowers, fire, Three snakes. dark crowns, though. Maybe they're all evil and they want to destroy the world and they've all got, like, this sick power to do it. Ooh. One's, like, fire and one's snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the flower one is. Flower power. Maybe she has, like, roses and she's like, shh. And she, like, or, or maybe she kills people with kindness. Oh, that's sweet. That would be cute. I don't know. So... Um, what are you preferring? The powers or the king and the queen being taken? I'm gonna by the do snakes? the powers. Powers. So you think each crown has a power and they're all gonna destroy the world? Well, the people that wear the crowns are gonna destroy the world. Um, so are they working together or, or are they in opposition? Um I'm intrigued because you're not far off. Well I initially thought they're working together. But maybe they are all opposites and like they're all going in for the kill and they're trying to win and like what what power is best? Okay, alright. You're pretty damn close. Again, with that. it's just reminding me of Divergent. <laughs> You're quite close. I think that's a good cover for kind of portraying what it's about. It does say three dark clowns, which kind of implies it's three dark clowns. Clowns? Clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what it's about? Yeah. So, Three Dark Crowns is about three girls. Uh, their mother was queen of the whole land and she gave birth to triplets. Mm. And when she gives birth to triplets, the triplets are taken to an island and separated and raised with their respective power. There's the elemental, oh no, that's the elemental, sorry. Elemental, so fire, water, wind, and mm, stuff. Okay. The naturalist, so flowers, animals, earth, stuff, and the poisoner who deals with poisons. So they're taken away to their respective areas and raised to be queen. And on their 16th birthday, the ceremony starts where they have to kill each other. And the one sister left standing Did that one win? It's the first book in a series, I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. That actually sounds quite interesting, I like that. Mm. It is interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to the second book, which is One Dark Throne. Maybe I think she's nice because she's flowers. Because she's flowers. <laughs> but you weren't far off with the powers mm. and the destruction and stuff. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Um, I mean, and just to throw you off, here's another co cover of the same book that doesn't do the job quite so well. Oh, is that the same one? It's the same book. No, that's very different. I definitely prefer the US cover. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Mm, this cover is quite simple, I feel. What do you think that one's about? Can I read this stuff? You can read what's on the cover, right. yes. You can't read the back. First survive, then tell the truth. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Something to do with fire. Okay. Um. Fire. fire. It's fiery colours. Um, it's red, orange and yellow. Yeah. Fire. Reminds me of The Hunger Games. Oh right, okay. Um, Suppose first survive and then yeah, tell the truth. Yeah, that's enough. And with the fire. Fire. Girl on fire, yeah. Again, this yeah, yeah. needs me to say sorry, Bex, I still haven't. The films are enough. Mm, don't tell Bex that. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry. I'm a film person. <laughs> <laughs> so you think The Hunger Games? Yeah, um, but it's obviously not The Hunger Games. No. Illuminate. I don't know what that means. Is that a made up word or is that an actual word? Illuminate is the first book in a series called The Illuminate Files. So Illuminate is like the name of the group of people oh, okay. that's formed. I I don't know. It's just reminded me of the Hunger Games. You're just thinking Hunger Games. Okay. Fair enough. But it's not. Well no, it's not the Hunger Games. But go on in uh, this treatment. is about a planet that is destroyed. Um, because biotech and industry that want their resources come and destroy them and want to kill them all. And they set out this like deadly disease on them and try and wipe the planet so that they can get their resources, but they weren't expecting like the galactic army to be there to save some of the people. So some of the people are saved, but because this disease was spread, there's disease on these ships and one ship has to destroy the other ship but the people on it just think that it's gone crazy and the ship is a living thing like it's artificial intelligence is a living thing 
um, that is quite a big character mm. and there's like space zombies and these people trying to get away from biotech but also expose biotech because it's like the whole thing happens but it's all told in files. How is that all in one book? Because uh, it's all files so it doesn't necessarily take place in chronological order so much but it's like chat logs and surveillance camera files and emails and stuff. It is a bunch of files sent to someone else to try and expose the truth of what happened after they've survived. Mm. So they've survived and now they're trying to tell the truth about what happened in their survival. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that because we've actually been filming for a really long time for this one. It's already been like 20 minutes or something. But um, yeah, leave it at that. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, chat to me down in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed and you fancy subscribing, I'm always eternally grateful for that. If you wanna see more of Summer, tell us what we can do because I'm always eager to have her around. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you wanna see more of her, tell us what you'd like to see from her. Bear in mind, she's a non-reader. So it needs to be things that she can do without Unless she forced knowing me what's going on. <laughs> anyway, yes, I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>